Hello guys, welcome back to the Brutal Investor channel. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. So in this episode, we are going to talk about a very interesting token that I recently researched and it's called Pond. Um, so if you uh, want to learn more about this token and the project itself, you can go to marlin.pro, which is M-A-R-L-I-N dot P-R-O. So Marlin Pond is a protocol that uh, aims to accelerate decentralized communication. Uh, it is basically described as an open port protocol that provides a high performance programmable network infrastructure for DeFi and Web 3.0, right? So they're mainly aiming to provide uh, a high performance uh, programmable network that helps uh, build uh, DeFi infrastructures and the Web 3.0 ecosystem. So um, if you see their website, they have a pretty cool website, which uh, uh, has uh, pretty cool graphics to say the least. The unglamorous underbelly of the decentralized economy, Marlin addresses today's uh, pressing concerns at layer zero, right? So uh, they are uh, trying to address issues from, uh, from the uh, lowest layer, uh, which is basically the layer zero, where there's so many issues that we are currently facing in the DeFi ecosystem. And some of the uh, issues that they have identified that they aim to resolve are scalability. Uh, so unreliable networks and long block propagation delays are a key factor limiting blockchain throughput. So uh, which is pretty much the case for uh, many blockchains, including the uh, famous blockchain that everyone uses, which is Ethereum. So Ethereum by default is not scalable at the time being. Uh, although Ethereum 2.0 aims to uh, provide a large scale scalability, uh, currently the issue um, is that uh, you can't scale Ethereum, right? And uh, uh, obviously Ethereum is a reliable network, but uh, the problem with Ethereum is that uh, since uh, there's issues with scalability, there are uh, significant delays and uh, they limit the blockchain's throughput and therefore uh, the transactions get clogged up, which results in high uh, gas fees and low transaction uh, speeds, right? So Marlin Pond aims to solve the scalability issue. Uh, decentralization, the number of nodes in a blockchain are often restricted to small number, numbers to guarantee low confirmation times. So this is uh, also the case when it comes to uh, blockchain such as Bitcoin, which is the largest blockchain in the world. Uh, there is concerns that uh, the Bitcoin blockchain is uh, not decentralized enough in such a way that uh, many of its nodes um, or its uh, you know miners are concentrated in China or in a specific geographical location. So uh, Marlin uh, Pond aims to uh, address this issue and anonymity. Uh, the pattern of uh, packet propagation through a peer-to-peer -peer, uh, network reveals the origin of transactions. So uh, this is uh, pretty much a common uh, concern for many blockchains in the current, uh, you know, in the current crypto uh, era where, um, you know, people can still track other people's uh, transactions right from the origin, right? And this poses a risk where, you know, it can be tracked uh, by government authorities um, who, again, although they uh, have a valid reason to track it in many cases where they want to, you know, prevent money laundering or terrorism or uh, anything that is malicious in nature, uh, it still, you know, begs the question that, uh, you know, if, if decentralized anonymous uh, uh, options are not widely available, uh, what are the solutions, right? Uh, how to prevent people from uh, tracking the origin of transactions and Marlin Pond seems to uh, claim that they have addressed this anonymity issue. So Marlin SDK, robust peer-to-peer -peer, uh, networking designed for performance and security. So the Marlin SDK, similar to many other SDKs, aims to uh, you know optimize peer-to-peer uh, -peer networking and is designed to increase performance and uh, increase security, right? High throughput blockchains. So larger networks uh, tend to have uh, you know less transactions and therefore less throughputs because of their larger size and uh, they suffer from significant uh, you know delays not only in processing transactions but also in scaling the blockchain itself. Um, but uh, Marlin Pond aims to address uh, scalability, um, efficiency, and also anonymity in the blockchain, right? 
uh, optimized topographies for fast delivery using staking and slashing for maximum security right again in the marling pond uh, ecosystem staking is a big deal uh, just like many other staking blockchains and uh, importance is given for people who uh, make sure that uh, all the conditions of the blockchain are met and that the validator validators are uh, validating transactions accurately right otherwise there is a slashing mechanism which slashes uh, the validators or the mine uh, or the you know the node operators uh, you know um, stay slash and that would uh, you know prevent them from doing something that's malicious for the network right so again uh, overall a very common themed uh, you know uh, project but it aims to definitely solve some pressing issues of the current uh, e- you know crypto ecosystem priority gas auctions again you can uh, uh, definitely uh, go through this in detail on their website but when it comes to priority gas uh, auctions Uh, they beat competing traders with low uh, latency mempool sinks to never lose out on gas wars again um, what it basically is uh, stating is you know they're making sure that gas fees are efficient in such a way that uh, you don't have to always fight for uh, you know better gas gas rates and pay a higher transaction fee in order to make a simple transaction decentralized storage uh, low latency communication for decentralized cloud compute and storage solutions again uh, what they are trying to say in layman's terms is they aim to uh, provide full decentralization in such a way that um, you know um, there is uh, enough cloud storage uh, cloud storage capacity in a decentralized manner right high frequency trading uh, connect to miners with latencies equivalent to having servers on the exchange floor again uh, in layman's terms they are basically stating that they ha- they uh, offer high frequency trading options to uh, you know better optimize the network and ecosystem um, again i don't want to go in detail uh, because again i don't want this uh, uh, this this um, video to be too long i try to cover the uh, summary of all the uh, best possible uh, offers that this project has to offer and uh, you guys have to do the rest by doing your own research and you can go to uh, their website and click documentation to read through their white papers uh, their medium page and understand what the project does before you put any of your money on this project so marlin foundry our decentralized network of programmable routers enables you to launch your own uh, you know mainnet or vpn or whatever right uh, networked bandwidth leverage an existing node network for added security flexible incentivization use your own tokens for payments and governance extensible architecture deploy customized routing rules on the marlin vm so overall they aim to you know provide better bandwidth uh, improved scalability uh, perform uh, provide anonymity uh, to blockchain users and also in, uh, encourage uh, uh, network participation in such a way that uh, they offer staking uh, options and also uh if you if you're not following by the consensus rules your uh, you know your uh, tokens will be slashed right so this pretty much uh, ensures that the network is secure and safe for uh, uh, several decentralized applications uh, enabling decentralized high performance communication uh, meta nodes all across the globe share bandwidth to support uh, networks built using marlin foundry meta nodes are incentivized to relay packets uh, in exchange for fees right what's new at marlin so these this uh, section covers some of the interesting uh, tidbits of uh, marlin ecosystem marlin raises 3 million to improve peer to peer networking marlin is privileged and grateful to have binance labs arrington xrp uh, capital electric capital and so on and so forth so this is one of the um, uh, reasons why um, you know uh, marlin has a huge potential to succeed right because it is constantly you know supported by uh, big giants in the ecosystem such as binance labs arrington xrp capital electric capital and so on and so forth and they have raised 3 million dollars recently to improve the peer to peer networking uh, you know networking issue right which is a great thing uh, byzantine resistant networking protocol featuring odsbr again these are technical information which uh, doesn't really pertain to this video marlin um, for the uninitiated with illustrations right again you can click through the information to see how the layer 0 solution aims to optimize and uh, you know scale the current blockchain ecosystem right 
uh, so basically that's pretty much it on their website again uh, overall if you want to know the summary of what this talk what this protocol does they aim to improve and accelerate decentralized communication and they aim to do this by improving scalability um, obviously uh, uh, you know offerings um, uh, you know better incentives for staking and they offer a complete decentralization and anonymity right for people who use this system right so uh, one of the reasons why i chose this uh, this project is again as you uh, were al- already mentioned by me uh, a few minutes ago binance labs are uh, investing in this project right so if you if you are not sure what binance labs is binance labs is the investment and you know with the venture capital arm of binance which is the largest exchange by volume in the world for cryptocurrencies and binance labs um, you know on june 5th 2019 they announced uh, 13 new projects that they were including in their incubator program and there were several projects uh, which uh, you know w- depending on w- at what time you're watching this video they're either uh, you know uh, starting out with uh, you know uh, setting up their project in in full swing or they're trying to you know get more funding in order to opt you know uh, better address the issues that they're trying to cover right uh, but one project that caught my eye is uh, project 7 project number 7 which is marlin labs which is basically the same thing that we read right now a layer zero scaling solution for public blockchains providing a plug and play network stake to improve throughput right so when i was uh, when i looked at this name and i googled uh, marlin um, you know marlin protocol and went through their website i found their project to be interesting um, and also when i looked at coin market cap i was really surprised that this project uh, is ranked uh, you know uh, only 362nd on coin market cap based on the market cap and uh, it's currently trading at 14 cents per token and it recently had a dip of uh, 9.04% in the past 24 hours so if you see the market cap is also relatively low with the uh, 62 million dollars in market cap and uh, if you see the maximum su- supply it is 10 billion tokens uh, is the maximum supply which is quite high for uh, you know a project over that aims to solve scalability and uh, you know other issues in the current blockchain ecosystem uh, with its total supply and the current circulating supply uh, the total supply being 3.184 million uh, to, uh, 3.184 billion tokens and the current circulating supply is about 430 million tokens right so which is about 4% of the maximum supply so um, as you uh, as you get more and more information about this project and more and more updates uh, uh, and once more and more tokens from the maximum supply start entering into the circulating supply you can expect the price to kind of tank for the short term but uh, once uh, you know this this project uh, promises on what it aims to achieve it will definitely get more traction and that will definitely be price positive right so when it comes to the uh, short term uh, you know analysis of this particular token i believe that this token will have some stagnation on its price point because of its uh, high max supply and uh, you know low circulating supply related to its max supply right which is only 4% of the other time of making this video and as more and more tokens are injected into the market you can expect expect some form of uh, price tanking or uh, sideways movements but that's only for the short term though uh, i do believe that this project has a long term potential to uh, grow and you know depending on how well it performs in the short term we can gauge how it's going to perform in the long term right but uh, since there is a uh, you know funding and backing from big uh, venture capitals uh, including binance labs i believe that this project will not really fail that easily and it will be definitely be a potential long term bag hold right so when we look at the um, the charts for this token you can clearly see that overall there has been an increased uh, uptrend for this token and since we uh, have data from december 22nd 2020 the price point at that time was a 4 cents per token right you can clearly see that uh, it has uh, you know significantly increased with the current price uh, with the current price point of 14 cents uh, and if you see uh, it's only continuing to go up right uh, you can also see the bitcoin comparative has a kind of slump down uh, since it's early you know since the, the since the early data is uh, uh, from december 2020 
and you can clearly see that it's uh, also moving up in the right direction in bitcoin comparative as well right it's recently having a bit of a pullback which is one of the reasons why i made this video where uh, i believe that this price point at this uh, at this price point for both satoshi as well as dollar comparative will be a really good buy for people who are interested in this token right so uh, that's pretty cool you can also see the volume candles being a little bit stagnant i believe that uh, this is because of the fact that uh, you know there's not a lot of recent updates from this from this project and there's definitely going to be you know um, a little bit of sideways movements for the for the little while but uh, once uh, you know this project starts uh, uh, getting more traction it's going to go up right so um if you look at the markets where it is available we can clearly see that it's not available in many of the reputed exchanges apart from hob global where you can buy it from uh, where, where you can buy this token with usd tether or ethereum you can also obviously get it on uniswap because you can get a erc20 version of this token uh, i also believe that uh, since this project is uh, also linked to the uh, polka dot ecosystem there will be um, you know many more exchanges that will slowly list this token uh, initially it will start with a lot of low tiered exchanges listing this token initially but uh, again since this project is uh, funded by binance labs i do believe that this project will at some point be listed on binance very soon right um, depending on uh, what when you are watching this video uh, it might already have been uh, you know listed on binance but uh, i expect that this project uh, to be released on uh, uh, to be uh, available on binance for trading maybe in the next by the next two one or two months or so or uh, in the worst case it will be uh, definitely listed by the end of this year right if uh, things are delayed because of uh, you know issues with this project or if there's some form of stagnation of this project right but uh, i do believe that by the end of this year this project will this token will definitely be listed on binance so this is pretty much the right time to buy the token if you definitely believe that uh, this project has a potential to be listed on binance right so i personally don't hold this token yet i'm looking to buy this at a pullback from uniswap um since um, the gas fees are high i'll probably wait till you know um i accumulate enough capital in order to pay for the high gas fee- gas fees as well as for the for the purchase of this token at a, l- a little bit lower price point i believe that this token has the potential to even go below like 13 or 12 cents per token uh, for the short term but uh, if you miss that opportunity uh, you will uh, be able to get more opportunities to buy this but the o- since the overall trend has been an upward trend i believe that um, you won't get a lot of pullbacks from this token right and uh, yeah that's pretty much it and if you see uh, this token is definitely going to be uh, at some point listed on binance because binance incubator uh, there are there were several projects which were a part of the binance labs binance incubator uh, you know ecosystem and they have been released on binance and since this project is also linked to the polka dot ecosystem i believe that the success of the polka dot ecosystem will drive the price of this project uh, to higher levels right um, with regards to the negatives i would say that uh, i'm not really impressed with the the maximum supply being 10 billion tokens but uh, again as i uh, you know as i see more and more uh, exchanges listing this token and with uh, with the polka dot ecosystem also growing in f- full fledged this token will continue to grow along with the polka dot ecosystem right for the short term expect this token to uh, you know not perform that well uh, but in the long term i'm pretty sure that this pro- project will definitely perform well just like all the uh, projects uh, that are listed in the Pol- that will be a part of the polka dot ecosystem and uh, in the short term if uh, binance uh, lists this token in the upcoming few months the price of this token will skyrocket because of the binance listing and uh, again cool down which will you know give you an opportunity to buy more if you are long term hodler or if you are a short term hodler you can sell it after the binance uh, listing right so that's pretty much uh, my video for today again remember guys you guys are not uh, regular investors you guys are brutal investors so stay brutal and also again don't consider anything in this video as financial advice because i'm not a financial advisor please do your own research before putting any of your money in this token but uh, there are several uh, important information that may be of use to you if you want to do your own research go to marlin.pro for all information about this project right 
uh, again thank you very much for watching my video guys if you like my video please click the like button and subscribe for more videos see you in my next video bye